Okay, let's do 8.2.12t. So, it says, use sample data to conduct a formal hypothesis test about a population proportion. Okay, so there's n is 100, that's sample size. 26 are blue, that's p hat. That's what's measured. So 0.26, 26% p hat or blue. The candy company claims the percentage of blue candies is equal. So the claim is that p equals 0.25. So that'll be the null hypothesis. So since it says equals, then the alternative is not equals. So it has to be letter B, only choice. Two-tailed test. So we want the test statistic. Open stat crunch. You're going to do stat proportions, one sample with summary. OK. So there's a, a number of successes is 26. Number of observations is 100. So the question is, is 26% in the sample significant enough to, to reject the null? On the face of it, I would probably guess no. But anyway, the, it was 25%. Uh, so change that. And it's already not equal, so there you go. All right, compute. So the Z stat is 0.23. That's it. Two decimal places, 0 0.23. That's real small. We're really close to the uh, to zero in the middle of the Z distribution. And you can see that the P value is really high, 0 0.817. So it's like a sit normal situation. 26% is not different from the claim. So we're going to not reject, fail reject, C or D. There's not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection, which means C. D reads there's sufficient evidence to warrant rejection. That's not true. We're not, we're not, we're not rejecting the claim. The claim is in the null, so we're, we're accepting it. Although we word it failing to reject instead of accepting. So that's it. Question 8.2.12T. This is Dr. K. Out.